Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this week's podcast. We are now doing part four today. And, you know, there's something about Caleb you need to know. He was actually raised on a ranch by hogs. By, <laughs> you know, there's raised by wolves. <laughs> but, okay, I recant that comment because his mom and dad are actually pretty stinking awesome. But, you know, when he went out to play, he was raised by hogs. So he didn't so know funny. how to count. So I think we're up to number, what were we with? Up so to? we were going to go into 18, 18 but I but skipped you forgot number 14, 14 yeah. last in the last yeah. episode. That's because you forgot how to count when you were in senior year and they were teaching you how to go to number 20. You couldn't quite get there and you missed 14. Yes. So yes, Texas education. Yeah. No, I'm totally joking. I can... <laughs> God, there's going to be a protest right outside our office <laughs> with ARs. We, have, you know? <laughs> we are one of the only states in the entire union that has our own history history class that is taught to students. Texas history is a mandatory class yeah, that seventh graders take in the state of not, Texas. That's not true. <laughs> that's how it is true. The state of Hawaii is like that. It was too. one of the only oh, one states. Of the, I thought yeah. you said the only. No. And we can go back and I bet you see once again. They can we raised on a ranch, hear. you know. I mean his mom and dad tried the best, but you know when I was born in a barn. You yeah, know. I Bet you were. Yeah. So, no, okay, so number 14, and then we'll go to 17. They don't know their product line. This is 25 Reasons Agents Fail. This is number yeah. 14. Mm-hmm. If you don't know your product line. And this is, <laughs> this. I can't believe you missed this one because we it's talk a, about this oh, one it's, all it's, the time. Oh, it's huge. It's, it's it, huge. You know, we get a constant question of what's the best product. And I'm like, you don't know. Now, if you're newer to the business, right. I totally get that. But if you've been doing the business for 5, 10 years, You should know what the best product is. But certain marketing organizations, they just don't. Certain marketing organizations, it's whatever their main product they push. They usually have two or three they push really hard. And I'm I'm definitely someone who is, I know which products are the best and I know why. And I know which products are the best in the variable world, the fixed world, the index world, the immediate world. I know all of them. But the thing is, I, I am very careful about is you can't just use, well, this one has the highest index over the past 10 years. Nope. That means nothing. That doesn't mean anything. Which index is it? How long has it been around? How is it calculated? What are the ranges it can go up or down in What's that the they can change? Like with that renewal company? rates, absolutely. I, I call know. that rate integrity. Yeah. There are certain companies I know that right now have really good rates, but their rate integrity, in other words, their first, second, third year renewals are horrible. Yeah. So I just won't use them. And it's funny because I've had somebody go, well, man, you've sold a lot of the same product. Like there's one company right now, I think in 2020, probably 80% of my business at least went through. And it's probably yeah. pretty close to the same this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but the reality is, it, it, is. It, all it takes is them changing their rates, somebody else coming out with a better rate, and they're a good company. I don't care who right. it is. I'll well, use and anybody. And that's one aspect of a product. Is, that's yeah. just that we, yep. we've talked on that for what a minute and a half, two yep. minutes, and that's just dealing with yeah. index stuff. Correct. We haven't I mean, even gotten into riders. Financial we stability, yeah, best benefits. benefits, best customer service, highest pay, our best potential income growth. Which riders are the best? What are the stipulations on the rider? What are their fees? I mean, I could go on and on. Yeah, that's why about, it's so important. Yeah. Well, that's why it's so important to know the problem. Got to Do the know. fact finder. Figure it, out yeah. what is the so problem you know the here problem. and how is it going to get you solved. You find the solution, but you know which company is going to be the best at helping with that solution. That's exactly so, right. Okay. Now that you've learned how to count again. Yes. So now we're up to 17, right? No, 18. 18? Yeah. What was 17? Did you, did you grow yeah. up on a ranch? I wish. <laughs> Dude, you had the dream childhood, man. I did. I know. So this guy was raised on 4,000 acres. And I I mean, I... I river runs first, through Yeah, river mm. runs through it. And I, I just told him, I said, please tell me you've never taken this for granted. I mean, to me, it's not about the money. It's not about, you know, we've got to vacation a lot yeah. and do things like that. And now that he's part of our family and has been for, you know, a day. <laughs> well, actually, was it just... About four and almost four and a half years. Yeah, Yeah, you have. But, um, you know, you always just what he got to grow up on is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, that that honestly is total rabbit trail here, but that honestly shaped me more than I think I realized. Yeah. You know, well, that's the only reason you got to marry Mariah. Yeah, you just hunting you opportunity. Need, yeah. and think that about, was the dowry. Think about Grant, he got <laughs> to marry Ariel because he's a diesel mechanic. Yeah. I mean, come on, no, I'm, not, I'm no dummy. Yeah, I know my problem, I know a solution, and uh, I took care of it. There you so. go. 
Yeah. All right. Well, so, number 18 says they don't have a proven system. Yeah. So a lot of people try and wing it in this business. Yeah, it's true. And they try and just get by and you can't. Right. I, well, I can't say so you can't because I did. <laughs> um, but I did have some mentors along the way that, you know, one of the, the people that still to this day I talk to is the founder of annuity.com. And he is just really good at explaining how he's probably one of the smartest people I've ever met in my life. I've listened to him. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. I mean, he's, he's knows what's going to happen in the industry before it actually happens. And he knows (laughs) the way it should be taken care of, but his style is completely different than mine. They call him the hundred million dollar man. He's probably sold 120, 130 million annuities. And now he's in his, mid 70s i think but he's still i just talked to him he's wrote a seven hundred thousand dollar annuity from a referral so he's still heavily involved in the industry but the reality is i had to learn a lot on my own especially when i was in the mortgage protection business you know the guys that were training never could make it on their own and so they'd teach you how to do this but then they didn't even know their own products so they would refer the wrong product to you right and i hated that so you know the reality is your system and your process i have that down to the t and if somebody says oh you never told me about oh i guarantee you i did because i'm very robotic when i'm explaining how the products work when i'm going through the fact finder i do not miss steps and it's because the system and the process i know how what, what point in the presentation where i need to be what the next step i'm going to be doing right after that it's it's literally you know you think of any type of um, muscle memory type sport it's the same thing i just just i know the next move if you're going to punch this way i'm going to duck if you're going to do that i'm going to do this yeah. it's the same thing when it comes to the this you, you, i do have a system and process that is proven how is it proven because i'm over 210 million 213 million since 2008 in in, in annuity production written yeah. annuity production so i know how this works and that's what i help you so you don't have to go through the long drawn out process that I had to go through, yeah. and man, it was painful. Yeah, and still is at times. I mean, there's there's certain things in the industry that happen or market conditions. This whole virtual thing could have thrown me for a loop. Fortunately, I only did virtual for two weeks, and yeah. I had a couple here and there. I said, here's the reality. I use hand sanitizer in my truck, out of my truck. Get in the appointment, out of the appointment. I'm always making sure I'm protected. If I'm not feeling well, I'm not showing up at your house. Right. I mean, and now we've found out that the masks don't work. So mm-hmm. anyway, that's a whole other thing. Um, so that was a painful part of the industry. Right. And now if you're in some of those cities that are still in the crazy lockdowns, that's a painful part of the business. And it has been for a while. Yeah. But a system and process, because I have people tell me, what's the difference between your virtual appointment and your in-home appointment? We do the exact same it's thing. No I different. say the exact same thing. Yeah. Okay. I love it. Well, this actually kind of ties into 18, but yep. it's uh, number 19. They don't have a mentor. Yeah. And this one's an easy one. Get a mentor. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not... Well, and somebody that is or has been where you're trying to get to. Never get advice from someone that's not where you want to be. Yeah. I mean, I, I've had people... I heard that wrote a book on how to make a successful marriage, yet they're on their third marriage. You know, the chances are, and I'm not saying this is always the case... Because my dad actually got it right marriage-wise the third time. Like, he was a really good husband. But, God, man, his number one and number two was horrible. My mom was horrible. And he got it. But then he kind of lost it on the child side of thing. You know, kind of lost a relationship with his kids. Mm-hmm. So, you know, to me, success is relationship in all areas. Yeah, that's but good. But the reality is you need a mentor. You need someone that's where you want to be to mentor you through that. Yeah, I yep. love it. No, that's so important. Um, number 20 says they don't have a strong work ethic. Uh, to me, a.k.a. drive. Um, what's, the, what's the internal drive? Uh, how many times do I talk to agents Hey, how many calls did you make this week? Why well, I, I called on this day. How many points appointments do you have? Well, I have one. So you called for two hours through your leads and you have one appointment. And you're done calling? I would be <laughs> calling and calling. I'd be studying product. I'd be going through education, continuing education. I, I mean, if I don't have appointments, my job is getting appointments and learning about what I do. Yep. I, if I'm part of the academy, like I know some people... They pay $1,000 a month for my inner circle or $1,500 a month for my inner circle, depending on what part or what portion they're doing. But let's say they're paying $1,500 a month and they haven't been on the academy for a month or two. I would be studying like crazy. 
Yep. I mean, if I'm spending $200 a month, if I have a subscription to Netflix and I'm not using it, I'm going, hey, I'm not using it. I'm not going to keep it. Right. So study like crazy. Study yeah. just, if you are if you don't have appointments, your job is getting appointments. It's so true. Yep. Number 21, they don't learn from their mistakes. Mm, I know what that feels like. <laughs> it's, it's just like, stubbornness, it really. Is. Well, Which can be a good thing. It can be. Your greatest <laughs> strength can be your greatest yeah. weakness. So that is true. Stubbornness can definitely harm you. It's what keeps you getting back up. But it's, exactly. Stubbornness can also be the one, God, man, I've been knocked down so many times. and I mean, seven times, as you know, seven times we were in debt. And I said, it just one time it clicked. I'm like, this is not going to happen again. Yeah. And we just determined to make sure it worked. And we started budgeting and so you know my mistake was overspending my mistake was not budgeting so I made sure that just wasn't gonna happen again but man the problem is is most mistakes hurt whether it's Mm -hmm. you or hurt someone else and I've just kind of determined in my life that I don't want to hurt myself and I don't want to hurt anybody else so I'm gonna really try not to make mistakes yeah because I don't like seeing other people hurt I'm a little more tolerant with myself as far as eh, that hurt you know I might not you know, there's definitely physically, definitely some things I do that I'm right. like, I knew this was going to hurt, but it was worth it. Yeah. Um, but learn from your mistakes. And, and, and I would even say something even farther. I have went to the phase now where I want to learn from other people's mistakes. I don't want to make the new mis- I don't want to make the same mistakes that they have already overcome and I don't have to go through it again. If I'm going to m- make a mistake, it's going to be something that's never been done before. Right. You know, or pushing forward in an area that's beyond what is expected, you know. I mean, the sound bar- barrier has been broken for a long time, but man, how many people died and lost their lives to get there, but they learned from their mistakes so they didn't create a machine they knew it was going to blow up. Right now we can travel. I don't even know what is Mach four. I think uh, Mach two point two point four. I think is the fastest. I'm not a hundred percent. Yeah, I haven't but, seen it. I mean, sure. I know if we go as long as you're in the atmosphere. If we're outside the atmosphere, I know you can go faster. But even with that, people still. I, I remember back, and I know this a while ago, but the Challenger exploded. And they knew a mistake was made, and they still went ahead and did the launch, and people died for it. Yeah. And in our industry, you can say, well, people aren't going to die when you make the wrong financial decision. I completely disagree. You can't tell me that if we make a mistake in somebody's retirement, it doesn't cost more stress, and stress causes heart problems, it causes anxiety, it causes all sorts of issues. You can't tell me that that can't happen. So I do treat my cases like it's a life or death situation. I really do. Make sure you're doing the best thing you can. And if I make a stupid mistake, it affects my family. It affects people around me. So I I just don't want to make mistakes. Well, the beauty, the beauty of, of mistakes is that it does tell you Mm -hmm. where you're off. I mean, there's an old saying, Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, like you mentioned, I grew up on a ranch. So shooting and stuff, there's an old saying, it says you learn more from a miss than a hit. Mm -hmm. Uh, If I'm shooting at a target and I miss the bullseye, I know now how I need to tweak my optics Mm -hmm. to hit the bullseye so when i shoot my second shot if i hit the bullseye now Which, i know well that's if, what was if wrong hit the bullseye if you hit it yeah if you shoot once and you hit the bullseye yeah, and then, then you have to ha- shoot a second time to confirm was that not a fluke was that a fluke yeah. you're left with more or questions in your case, sometimes the seventh or eighth time ninth yeah. time you know so i remember <laughs> winning a pretty nice dinner over some marksmanship God, one that time was a mis- expensive mistake is a hundred yard shot he had six bullets i believe and i said you you have to hit that and I it, think was he had, it was yeah, a pistol yeah a pistol handgun and, I think he hit. Yards, I yeah. think he hit two out of six. So yep, that that was an expensive yeah, dinner. That was fun. well. well <laughs> I got chicken, and you and your wife and and my wife, y'all all bought the uh, the, the filet Oscar. Steak. It's a yeah, market yeah. price on no, the menu. No, it was a bone in uh, bone in. Uh, oh, filet. you got the bone no, in. No, we all did. And it I was, thought it was yeah. a filet Oscar. I don't know. No. It was expensive. It was, Either way. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Number 22, they treat their business as a sprint instead of a marathon. Yeah, you know, this is a marathon, but I do want to sprint in the beginning. Um, I know that's hard, but I I am a person that wants to get things done quickly. Got to get ramped up quick. And get ramped up, yeah. So if you're on a boat, you know, you get it up on a plane and it's the boat's smoother. Otherwise, your boat rides like this. I mean, you can trim it out. I'm speaking boat language, but you can trim it out and bring it down a little bit, but there's still a lot of drag in the water. Once you get it on a plane, then it's just kind of skimming along the surface. 
And so I try and get up to where I can get my business mm-hmm. on a plane first. That's good. And now remember, faster means you got to be, you know, mistakes are have greater consequences. So you need to be very deliberate. And this is once again where we help you with that. Yeah, that's so good. Where are we at now? 23, they wow. choose the wrong IMO. Mm. I mean, you're, yeah, you're dealing I'm, with a relationship. Yeah, it's an I'm, alignment. I'm gonna, it's a partnership. I'm going to choose this carefully. Because um, I we do partner with some really good IMOs. Yeah. I mean, I know them very well. I trust them with everything I have. I trust them with all my information. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because I know I can trust them. But there are so many marketing organizations that all they care about. I mean, there's some out there. If you don't do over five million, they don't even you don't have a chance of getting contracted right. with them. Um, you have marketing organizations where you never hear from your marketer or when you ask them all different situations and they keep telling you the same product, the same product, the same product. Like you said, we do have one right now that it has it's been very pretty versatile, much the same very product. very well-rounded. It is. That's it. It's a very versatile product. But that's not that common. No. It has been for over a year now, but that's not that common. But you, you have people that have been... Uh, you know, you just don't have the relationship or you feel like you're a number yep. or it takes them multiple days to get back to you. I mean, it, that's not uh, that's not a good relationship. If you, if you feel like you have that, you know, reach out to us. We can yeah. help you. I tell agents all the time that the relationship between a marketing organization and an agent mm-hmm. should be a partnership. In Absolutely. fact, it is a partnership. It is a partnership. But a lot of times it doesn't get operated mm-hmm. as if it's a partnership. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is, we know a marketing organization becomes more profitable mm-hmm. by having this agent mm-hmm. working with them. Mm-hmm. That agent should simultaneously be made more profitable by working with that marketing organization because they are 100%. making that marketing organization. But you also got to make sure you're not one of those agents that, why well, went the top, top, top level? Um, you only wrote two million. Yeah, I want, last I want year. leads and, and, and yeah. IMO level comp. So, and <laughs> so then the IMO is not. <laughs> you can do all my pending business. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to remember it's a partnership. I want my IMO making money. Yeah. Why? When they make money, they're going to be around. Just like I want my insurance companies making money. Whichever mm-hmm. companies I use, I want them making money. So, yeah. That's totally true. All right, last two, number 24. They're not organized. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, if you look at my desk, uh, I want it nice and neat. Yeah. Now, I may have papers all over the place, but I know exactly what piles what. And, you know, if I'm not organized, think about this. You don't have the right applications in your briefcase. You don't have the right uh, programs in your favorites uh, when you open up your computer. Uh, you're unorganized. I, you don't have, you know, these large institutions. There are numbers to be able to call and help the clients uh, know what yep. number they need to call to move money. If you're not organized, it's just it's going to make you look like you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. And to me, I, what is the saying? Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, and fast is. I think um, that's it. Slow is smooth, smooth is. S- slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Yeah, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I think and that's it. it. I, I know there's one more to that. Well, but I think I, you're thinking of. Uh, Krav Maga. No, I think you're thinking of. Uh, um, on uh, no, early no, is no, on time. No, you're not that. thinking no. of that one. That no, one has three it, it parts. It talks too. about when, you know it's in martial arts where you practice slow to, to make it smooth. smooth, but then when it's time to move fast, you're you're very effective and very efficient hmm. because you're you're really thinking things through that you've already done a million times through practice, and then when it comes time to be fast, it just it just comes to you. So oh. yeah. That's good. Okay. They're not organized. So get organized. Number 25, so they don't value their time. Well, if you don't value your time, you're not valuing other people's time. And I hear this all the time. Oh, they're always late. Oh, they always show up late. I like, no, that's rude. Mm-hmm. It's disrespectful. Yeah. You know, if I tell you I'm going to be at a place, unless I have lost a limb or something's going on, I'm going to be at that place. Yeah. And Because even when I say I'm going to be at an appointment, I almost always shoot 15 minutes early. Yeah. Why? I never know if there's going to be a car that broke down. There's going to be issues, you know, some sort of traffic reroute. You never know. So I want to be on time and I want to honor people's time. But that means, you know, it's hard to value and honor other people's time if you don't value and honor your time. It's true. And so I have this saying, what do I say about that? What? About About time. time? Early, Early is on time. 
on time is late and late is unacceptable. Which is an old football coach, and I can't remember who said that, but then yeah. I also say what counts. Oh, seconds count. Seconds count. Yeah. I mean, literally a second can make the difference. And you say, well, that's pretty dramatic. No, it's not. Seconds count because if you don't value seconds, then you're not going to value minutes. If you don't value minutes, you're not going to value hours. And mm -hmm. if you don't value hours, you're not going to value days. And that's really what it comes down to. Sure. I'm very deliberate in everything I do. And when I'm involved in something, I try and be very engaged on that. Yeah. Well, in 24, 25, tie together because organized makes you more efficient. Yeah, it does. It's Absolutely. So, well, that's why, once again, I'm, I'm, it took me a while to get from my paper calendar to my digital calendar. But why do I have to go to the digital calendar? Well, I have, now I have a bunch of companies, so my team needs to know where I am and when they can schedule appointments for other companies. So, you know, that was more efficiency yeah. for me and make sure I was on time to where I didn't, oh, so-and-so didn't write this down, so now I missed an appointment. I just won't do that. So I know it took us part four parts to get through <laughs> We were going to do two parts. But yeah, and, it's gonna, uh, that but was a joke. Here's the reality. I want to make sure, I mean... If we have 25 and we're doing two parts in 15 minutes, that means we're going through literally 12 and a half in 15 minutes. That means That's we're just barely it's not going to happen. Yeah. But I, I care about people's time. Oh, absolutely. I care about their, their success enough to where, hey, if we need to break it into we'll th four, more. we're going to break it in four. Yep. So I hope this, appre uh, I hope this, appre what? I hope you appreciate the extra <laughs> effort. <laughs> You're right. And yes. then it helps them. I mean, yeah. and it should. Just it don't should. do these 25 things. Yes. Do the opposite of these yes. 25 things. One, well, and, and I'm going to recap in this. If you need another IMO, we can help you. Retirement Realized Financial. If you're with a really yeah. good IMO and you need training, then go to Retirement Realized Agents Academy. We can help train. You, we don't require contracts for that. If you are with a guy, good IMO and you have good training, but you don't have good brand, reach out to Caleb yeah. and we'll help you create a really good brand and we'll make sure you're, it looks really professional and you're up to date. If you have all of that, and you're just a breathing human being, go to theannuitysalescoach.com and download the free documents because they're free. <laughs> exactly. Well, I hope this helps you. You guys have a great day and happy selling.